So I could start a religious talk now. I could start explaining, well, you need to use relational database because they're the best, man. Or you need to use document-based database because they're just a bunch of people. But it, it, it's really a case of what you feel like using depending on the application you're building. So you cannot say the one or the other. There are, diff there are places where document-based databases make sense and there are places where the relational databases make sense. There are places where you say, I don't want to use the old stable stuff like relational database is. It's been there forever. And there are places where you say, I want to use the new cool stuff like the Mongo database, which is, woo, it's just the, the edge, the newest stuff. It's woo. But, but the religion behind it, you can start talking about that with others. You can start fighting that. I just want to show you a brief example here of the difference when you start working with the data. How is it actually stored behind the scenes? How is it uh, kind of persisted in the database, right? How is it is saved in a database and and here I'm going I, I've picked just a very basic diagram here explaining we have a user who can have zero to many wishes and a wish can be on a single user so I'm reading that by pointing out this diagram right here and saying a user and then I read it here on the line adding this guy can have zero to many wishes and then when I, re I read it this way instead I say a wish can be on one user so you can read that diagrams like this. I say a wish can have one category, but a category can be on one too many uses, right? So let's just try and do that again just by adding these green um, borders here. So when I read a user, how many wishes can he contain? I'm going to look at this side right here. But when I look at a wish and ask how many users can have a wish, I look at this guy right here. So I read them from one to the other side. So that's how you read these diagrams and that's a very valuable thing to learn. So just reading the diagrams, I think that should be the first lesson here. Try to understand this diagram, try to read them. A user can have one too many, zero too many wishes. A wish can have one category. A category can have zero too many wishes or be on zero too many wishes. And a wish can have one user. So get that diagram out of the way, understand it. And when you wanna build your own system, do the same thing. Understand a diagram like this, have a talk with your team about this. Do we understand this and do we understand how to read this diagram? See you in the next lesson where we will try to then look at how it would be implemented in a relational database.